So then, Futsu strikes again, or Futsu zero one strikes again. Well, he certainly is more recognized pony game maker for his style of games, and I think I've covered him well. I've played his games, previous games, one after another. And this is a new one. So what he basically makes is like this game with a simple idea and a really easy to play and more or else rather they are based on some on some other games and not like original copies oh, no, not original copies but original ideas and this one seems to be based on Angry Birds yeah I must admit I've never played Angry Birds and but I heard a lot of complaints that this game was just too random Yeah, the game was dependent on your luck and randomness to kind of master it. And I think that was because, you know, you, in a you needed to destroy the houses and they seem to have a physics engine built into them. But here it's more streamlined, just you gotta hit the spot to get the jewels and I missed this. But yeah, I'm kind of playing it for the first time. You know, you still need to calculate your angles, and this can get random really fast. Let's try to hit him under those. Which little more force. Almost. But oh well. Oh, can I get... No, I can't. But I have another try, so let's... make it a little bit less. Yes. Got there. Ah. Oh well. Well, you still need to calculate your, your angles in this game, and you know, it comes either from trying too hard to memorize the best pat patterns, like to shoot, or just being good at mathematics. But I don't think even mathematics will help you with this game because. Because you don't have any like scales or to draw upon. The only thing it draws is the line of your previous toss. But uh, you know you don't have any relevance to how far. Will he go if I add less force in this direction? And it seems to... No, it doesn't seem to pay off. <coughs> Sorry. Besides, how many people would, you know, be good at playing billiard? Which is... which has kind of the same, you know, principles. Where you always need to calculate the angle and force of your throw. But you do it manually, or if you play an online billiard, it's the same thing as this game. So, yeah. But you know, one thing you shouldn't forget is that it's drawn from a casual game, so it should be played as a casual game. 
are like so just to spike onto the gems and don't doubt anything but sorry to toss him onto the purple jewels no I overshot it so now let's try to undershoot it maybe yes oh that was lucky that was insanely lucky You learn something new every day, so you probably, you know, play it and get this angle and it didn't last very well. So let's try to shoot a little bit more straight and get him on this ramp. And well. Another thing I think it did explain is, you know, what jewels are worth more. So, for example, if you have just one or two tosses, what kind of jewels will you go for? Let's see what happens if we get full power. Oh. Maybe not so much full power. I either land him on this red jewel and... Well... Nothing particular. Oh, this is just insane. <coughs> well, it seems really bad and... Yeah, it is. Can to collect just one this one jewel, I think. Huh. Landed on the red one, and got the green one as a bonus. Here we go. That was kind of easy to figure out. Maybe I could land for those purple thingies because I oh <laughs> didn't even try. Oh, this stuff will catch you. I thought it was a mistake. But apparently not. So how should I go about this? Not like this. Oh, now you're just messing with me. Still will enter your girl for purple stuff. Uh, almost. So maybe just go for it. You know, without figuring out the best tosses and stuff. I'm sorry, I get my red right mouse button all in this category, so if I release it. Yeah, I figured it would happen, but at least I get some jewels out of the deal. <laughs> so then, how do you get into the... I see your game. And I actually did not notice, but they... It gives you the worst of your gem when you collect one. So the purple ones aren't that good, it seems, because they only gave me 40. 
Oh, bounce me up here and just now give me the purple one. Good spike. And give me the green one. And then go off screen because you're not needed anymore. So now I have to figure out this trajectory. And I failed it. So the game seems to teach me about the surfaces now. Yellow bounces you, the blue one destroys, and green one is the evil one. Yeah, it just seems to be based on randomness. Let's do it exactly the same. Still going. Okay. I don't think he will make it. Yeah, this is just too random for my taste. Huh. Let's do it again. Okay, final one. Let's do it like so. And then we fail madly. And this is what happens. Figures I should get to my, you know, the first trajectory because it seemed rather right. But he did. He wouldn't. <laughs> Certainly would. <laughs> Almost. And now he corrects himself and... Oh, come on, Spike, you can do it. You can get me this last chill. There we go. <coughs> now just bounce endlessly in there. Would he? Okay, Spike, you know you can stop. This is extremely cruel in a comic kind of way, because Rarity just watches him bounce there endlessly. Because I just happened to get the right this, the right angle to throw him at this thing. So he would just bounce there endlessly. <sighs> you know what, I'm on a time limit. <laughs> as funny as it is, I'm going to end it prematurely. All right. Now this one is tricky because there is a green stuff underneath. Give him a little more push for his money. Now just get those two chills and be on your merry way. Maybe a little more push. Yeah, I figured he would. Okay. Not so bad, I might say. 
No, this is just sadistic. What does purple stuff do? Okay, get in there. I know you can. Maybe like so. Oh, the purple stuff debounces you. Good to know, game, good to know. <coughs> Next one. They're just going to be more and more insane. Okay, you know, this design where there are walls and bouncy stuff, it's just going to bounce spike, like so. And if I end this prematurely, I could lose the gems. So yeah, what the hell. I don't think he could debounce on this yellow platform, so his only way is to get in there. Now give me this gem. And he goes for it for the second time. I don't think I can get the green gem over there because it is protected from above and the only way to get it is to kinda bounce him upwards at the perfect angle. Let's try it anyway. Yeah. I still have two tries left, so... How should I go about this? You know, I don't even know with all this bouncing around. I generally don't have a clear idea. As to where he should land to get this green gem. Yeah, you see, you can't get it from above. You can't get it from above. So maybe a little more bounce. Oh! Nice! <laughs> I don't think he even bounced up the red, the yellow thing, he just bounced up the ground. Still nice. And now you're just jerking with me. You know, like Spike get in there. Spike get in there. Yeah, this is... This is a very bad analogy of Breakout. Or Arkanoid. I actually... Not into those games to tell you the difference between Arkanoid or Breakout. I think Breakout was the first and then Arkanoid kinda copied the idea, but Arkanoid is, seems to be more popular. Oh, there's the green stuff under this. You know what, let's try to do exactly the same. 
I mean, he's going there, but he's destroying the platform, so it is different every time I try it. Plus, I have an angle that would definitely bounce him up there, and I fail for some reason. Yeah, what the hell was that? Maybe I flucked this angle. I don't like why, you know, even minor deviations from the course would you know, would result into this. It's I think it's called a butterfly effect if it's not applied into time. But yeah, now I'm just not even aiming properly. Because this level is just so insane. Next one. Yeah, this is a butterfly effect, you know, I try a little bit of deviations and it doesn't set me on the wrong course to get this gem. Just a tiny bit more. And he's stuck, I think. He's definitely stuck there. He's going backwards. Even more so? Huh. Almost. Maybe I need to bounce him like perfectly upwards, this yellow thingy. By this point I'm wondering how many levels are there in this game and this is definitely a pinball machine. Randomness to the max. I seem to get those two red gems, one by another, and uh, I 
supposed to know where all the blocks are. Oh, the entire Canterlot library is. Overshot. Undershot. Can I actually do this by... Let's see. Definitely an overshot. Let's try to go a little bit this way. Perfect. All levels are cleared. Spike is... Let's see, there are very 20 levels in this game, and there is a level editor. So, there we go. Can I... Okay, can I kind of turn this thing? So I need to place it, and then, you know, when I click at it, I can rotate it. It's ni that's nice to know. And can I delete it? Yes, I can. But the rotation thing is still there. So I can hold shift. Oh, bouncy stuff. Yes. We're going to make the most insane level there is. Well, not most insane level because I don't have any degree in design in insane levels. And I certainly wouldn't try designing instant levels. Well, I would try, but not in this game because, <coughs> you know, there's little skill involved in this game. I don't say that there isn't any skill because there's definitely something out there. I think you're probably getting the idea that I'm trying to get into this level. Maybe not so. Let's just try to have a good time on our hands. <laughs> this is definitely very minimalistic, you know, editing tools scenario. And by making so much diamonds, I think Rarity would be happy. Oh, can I do that? 
no, can I make like an ungettable diamond to this the player? Huh. That would be insane. Now it's just a matter of getting up there. Overshot. Huh. There we go. Oh no! You know what? I don't think I don't think the sentry would work. To tell you the truth, so don't need anything that doesn't bounce. So we'll close it up. And we'll try to get the spike this way. Huh. Let's just add this little round thingy and test level. And <laughs> he just gets out of there. No, I think this exit is too clustered. It needs something. Oh wait, this not bouncy. I need need only yellow things. So yeah, I don't think any bones is surface. This oh, oh. <laughs> how does he do it every time? Once again, nothing. Come on. I mean, like, it's not just half the time it's. He just finds a way out there. What if I'll try and add this little circle here and here and get it from here and add it just right here and this one should stop him from bouncing so we'll get the diamond here and here and here. Now try to get out of my bounce prison. <coughs> but you know, if there is a way in there, then there should be a way out of there. It's reversible. So I think I just need to be more of a clever designer. So how does he get in there? So let's see how he does he get out of there. Yeah, he goes under my ball. Oh. I think he went under. Oh, this is taking too long of a time for just a simple casual game. But it's fun, there's a bouncy prison for Spike. Oh! <coughs> I think I know what should I add there. 
right here. No, not here, right here. Oh, that was fail. That was even more fail. Get into my bouncy prison. The hell? Get into my bouncy... Get into my bounce prison. I think this triangle just does more damage than it should have. <clears throat> but yeah, he can't get out of the triangle. Yo, there are ways in the real life to create some... <coughs> Operator then you can't get out once you get in, but here. Well, let's just add more random stuff to my bounce prison. Maybe he won't get out. Maybe the circle needs to be bigger because he seems to go through it if he gains enough speed. No, you've had a way to close this room anyway. I think I've encountered an endless bouncy, but this was just because of a lucky angle. <coughs> this one, yeah, he does want to get out. So sadly, he will always find a way. You know what, let's try one more thing. Just one more thing and I'll let it go. So, can I build an endless bounce prison? Let's see. Oh my god! Well, I fail on so many levels, I think. I guess I, I need to think in, in entirely different, you know, situations, like trying to have multiple entry points and make it a little more delicate. But I don't think it interests anyone what I would do. So let's end it here.